right, guys, it's the last day of my season until it opens up again in June, but I had some encounters with some birds earlier this morning on a different piece, but couldn't quite get them close enough for a shot and came out here probably around noon to this new piece. There's a fresh burn on it, so I snuck back there and found some good fresh sign and sure enough, I got one to gobble and I kind of just played cat and mouse with them for the next hour until I got him to gobble close and I crawled up and tried to get within range because I had some topography between me and him, but he ended up glimpsing a little bit of movement and he didn't spook, but he kind of slowly meandered off, kind of all a little bit nervous. So I ended up ditching him and my phone was about dead anyways, so I went back to the truck to charge it and Johnny was able to rush out here and we were able to give this bird a hour and a half probably time so we're going to come in at a different angle on a trail and see if we can't um pick them up again but it's it's pretty exciting hunting a fresh bird i've never done it and we've got birds all up in it so lots of sign in there let's see if we can strike a bird yet So we're still not positive if that was a bird goblin or not, but we couldn't get them after we moved up 50 more yards. So we're gonna push up maybe about another 80, get past a bunch of this thick sapling cover that's in front of us, and then we're just gonna plop down for a bit and see if we can get them to respond in the next 20 minutes, and then we'll just start working around yet, trying to slowly chip away at this burn and see if we can locate this bird up again that Dave was on, so. See what happens. We won't try. We've been chilling here for a bit. Just hammered on the calls and we got a hen to start calling back to us for a bit. Not positive I heard a gobble, but I'll hang out here for a bit longer and see what happens. just missed was the camera being off finally got him to gobble so I think we're gonna quick look at the map and see where he's at see what topography we have and we might have to just make a loop on him or just cut in there I think I don't think he's gonna gobble again just because we're so far if we circle at him and just get a little closer I think if we set up he'll gobble I'm hoping Just got a bird to hammer back here. You hear him? Shoot. Dave, where do we go? Get a decoy up. Decoy. Decoy up. Take it off.
little bit up, I guess. I think we're pretty good at ice skating. I don't think we stay here because it's just we're gonna stand out like a sore thumb against a burnt tree. I think we just stay here and wait him out. I think we got him fired up. Yeah. He's probably within 100 for sure. He's probably 80 or so, I would say. He's in a range. I, well, I don't know. I think he is, but. Okay, it's up to you. Go for it. Yes! yes! Dude! Yes! yes! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Got that joker. <laughs> he was leaving. He was turned up. He said that we were five yups and yup sounds good. And like eight. Yeah, that's cool. And, and knee sla two here. knee slaps and he would have been out of here. <laughs> he was just starting to fold the deck and then. <laughs> this was a, this wasn't even the one that gobbled, dude. This was, he was shuffling the deck, man. He was, this was a second bird. I know. Cause I heard him gobble and I seen right there. I was like, there's no way that's a I think I heard him drum, like I said. Like I, yeah, dude, I think I heard a drum. Oh my word. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Cannot beat that, dude. <laughs> I'm glad I could be here with you, man. That's, that's awesome. Trigger that blast. <laughs> I mean, you get to see some pretty stinking amazing things out here in God's creation. And I can't say I've ever hunted a burn and shot a turkey in a burn. At least I haven't, but Dave has now. But it is, it's unreal. This, it's just so cool. Oh my, thank the Lord. That's, I've been not necessarily struggle busting all day, but just. It's been a tough on one. On and off birds playing cat and mouse out in this burn and. We got ourselves a burn bird, baby. <laughs> Dude, I've never so even pumped. dreamed of that in Michigan to have a burn bird. Never in my life. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> Give me some knuckles, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah brother. Yeah. Soon we've got a burn bird down, baby. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> that they were in. That's right. Gotta love the smell of gunpowder in a burn. That's right. <laughs> Let's go check them out. Got ourselves a zebra thunderwing in the burn. He just came right through that 
chunk man. He's got the hook. He's got the hook. He's got the hook. What a bird, dude. What a bird, dude. Zebra thunderwings here. I feel, they're pretty dark. In fact, like they don't. They aren't that dark normally. God. Oh, I thank the Lord every day to be out here chasing these things. It's been a roller coaster today, and can't thank the Lord enough to be out in His creation chasing zebra thunderwings. And they sure make it hard on us, but that's what makes it fun and makes us keep on doing it. We got ourselves some decent hooks. I would say, dare say, three quarters, seven eighths. Yeah, man. But, God. God, what a hunt. We were, I basically called it quits. I'm like, well, oh, let's just run the trail back to the truck. I want to get out of here on time to get home, eat dinner with my wife. But we just made a little pit stop, and they kind of said, hey, come over here, check this out. <sighs> awesome. Stud. Awesome. I was getting a little worried I might be hunting in June, but we made her work. Yeah, dude. Thanks for coming. No problem, man. Glad to be here, man.